Hi, everybody. Happy Monday. Welcome to McKellar Motivational Monday. I am Danica McKellar. I'm an actress, math book author, homeschooling mom, and um, many other things, and a very grateful member of the Periscope community. Today, uh, we're going to talk about how to stop worrying so much. I'm playing this song, Don't Worry, Be Happy. It's helped me a lot. Um, worrying is something that plagues all of us, um, and unnecessary worrying is something that plagues all of us. So, in a few minutes, I'm going to, to ask our Facebook friends to join us, but I always like to talk to the D-Squad for a moment first. And uh, thank you, Selena. Thank you, Abraham Bogan. And yes, please uh, take a moment to share if you think your friends or followers would enjoy this. Thank you, Anthony. Just click on the number of viewers. Thank you, me too. And, um, and I, uh, it'll give you options for how to share. Thank you, Ali, Miss J.D. Blue, Ray, uh, Ray, Sophia, David, Arianator. Thank you again, Anthony. I, that's a new name for me. I haven't seen you before. Welcome. Uh, Jonathan, Belgeron, A. Fallen, Andrew, Tap Jazz, Mark, Tambury. Thank you so much. Hello, Samir. Thank you, Met Guy, JVC, City Web Marketing, Archangel, Helen. Thank you, Ray, for sharing two different ways. Thank you, Jotin. Oh, thanks, everybody. It's so good to see you. I hope you all had a great weekend. And uh, another, another Manic Monday. Awesome. Hey, Groundabout. I'm so glad you still exist. So, I'm going to go ahead. Thank you, DJ. Thank you, Teresa. That's very sweet. <laughs> there are no dues uh, to be a member of the D-Squad. All you have to do is show up here on Periscope and follow me. And you're a D-Squad member. That's it. Thank you, Joni and Jules. Where's my blue tag? Don't I have a blue tag on Periscope? Did I lose it somehow? Um, anyway, so welcome. I'm going to go ahead and, uh, and invite Facebook now. So here we go. Oxnard. Hello, everyone. Welcome to McKellar Motivational Monday. I'm here with you guys and also Periscope. And today we're going to talk about how to stop worrying so much. Especially how to stop worrying unnecessarily, which is mostly when we're worrying. Here's the easy thing to do. When something is worrying you, you have to take a moment and say, is this something that I actually have control over? It's a very simple thing. Either you do or you don't. Generally speaking, the only things that we have actual control over is our own behavior. That's pretty much it. So most of the time, when you're asking yourself, do I have control over this or not? Usually, the answer is, no, I don't. And we, we, I think in our minds, we, we think we have a lot more control than we do. We'd like to think that we have a lot more control than we do. And this is maybe because, you know, we all grew up in situations where sometimes we didn't get what we needed and what we wanted and we didn't feel the way we wanted to feel and we wanted to have more control and as a child you really want to have that kind of control you can't have you don't understand you don't you can't have it i see this with my son wanting him wanting to control a lot of things uh even though his life is pretty darn good in my opinion but we all crave that kind of control over our own destiny over our futures whatever's going on we want to be in control of it i believe me i go through this all the time why worry life is too short to worry about anything? Right, so here's the thing. If you don't have control over it, then you're wasting your energy. It's actually wasted. Because I think what worry is, is our attempt to gain that control. Well, what if I just did well, What if I did this? What, what can I do this? Or what, what would happen if that happens? And what can I do to prevent that from happening? And, and we, we sort of work ourselves up into a tizzy. And, and we don't have control. And so what, what are we doing? We're running in quicksand. That's what's going on. We're wasting energy and getting nowhere and wearing ourselves out and then we don't have control, we don't have energy for the things that we do have control over. So here's one thing. If it's something big, you give it to God. Yes, you like control, we all do, but it, we, don't, we don't usually have it. We have the illusion of some control. So, um, <laughs> hi guys. It is hard to do some things that will improve our lives drastically. I mean, in real ways, you'll find they're simple, but challenging to do. They're not complicated. They don't take a PhD. It's straightforward, but challenging. So when you realize you don't have control over something, you have to let it go. 
You say, you know what? I actually don't have any control over this. What do I have control over in this moment? And what can I do in my life that's going to make me happy or other people happy that I do have control over? And it can be something as simple as, like for example, sometimes I get frustrated. I've got a couple different careers, right? And and sometimes, um, hey, I'm just got loud. Let me turn this down for a second. Sometimes I'm waiting to get feedback on something, whether it's um, about uh, a project that I'm going to be shooting and I don't know when I'm going to be shooting it or if it's something with my books and I'm waiting for my editor to get back to me on some information. And I tend to get, like when I'm working on something, I want to keep working on it and I want to like have control over the schedule and I don't. So typically what I'll do is I'll say, you know what, I just got to let that do what it's got to do. And in the meantime, instead of obsessing over it, I'm going to work on something that I do have control over right now. Writing is a, is, is, is a good career because you can always write. Nobody can stop you from getting your laptop out and writing. But even if, let's say, I'm waiting on something and I can't even do that, then I'll say, you know what? Look at my bedroom. I really need to clean up this bedroom. And I have control over that right now. Or, you know, I'm going to give a friend a call who I haven't talked to in a long time. And I bet they'd love to hear from me. And I'd love to hear her voice too. Let me just see how she's doing and give her a call. Finding that moment of, 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 of regaining your control and, and something that you can do that's positive for yourself. Yes, go with the flow. Absolutely. Try to reprogram your brain. And here's, um, here's something that, uh, it's called the serenity prayer that can be helpful when you're trying to figure out if you have control over something or not. Or if you're just struggling with control and worrying. Um, and uh, to those of you who don't like the word God, you can substitute in uh, universe, higher power, whatever it is. But here's the prayer. It's, God, give me the serenity. I mean, I haven't said this prayer in so long. And Give me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, the courage to change the things I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. Give me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, the courage to change the things I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. Hey, Carrie, thanks for sharing. Yes, grant me the serenity. And you, do you know, asking for that is how you get it. You have to allow yourself that option. Something I talk about a lot is, um, is giving yourself permission to change. If you want to feel differently about something, what I do, because you can't make yourself feel different, you give yourself permission to feel differently about that situation, whatever it is. Just say, you know what, I give myself permission. I'm not going to hold on to this angry feeling. I just give myself permission. And then guess what? It usually happens when you're not looking. Magnetic energy. Positive brings positive. Absolutely. So when you're worrying about something, when you're worrying about something, try out the serenity prayer or something similar to it. That's an evaluation of whether or not you have control over the thing that you are currently worrying about. If you do have control over it, do something about it. Take some action. Take action. Don't worry. Take action. Don't sit there. If you don't have control over it, which is most things, let it go. Give it over. Give it over to God. Give it over to the universe. Let it go. Go with the flow. Whatever terminology resonates with you. Take a breath and, and decide, make the decision to focus on something you have control over, which is you and your behavior and your actions, not other people. As much as we would love to control other people, and we all would love that, we can't. And just trying to do that will only make things worse for you, for the other people. It's called meddling. It's called nagging. It's called all sorts of things that don't work. So focus on you. Michael Jackson had a great song, Man in the Mirror. It starts, this change starts with the man in the mirror or the woman in the mirror, depending on who you are. Look at yourself. What can you control? What can you do? And that's it. And then let, let the rest go. Let it be. Associate with positive people who will build you up. Absolutely. It's great advice. Don't worry. Be happy. Thanks, Carrie. How to take control of eating. That, I think I talked about that in a, a scope not too long ago, but, and then it was sort of a, an add-on topic. Um, what I say about that is make sure that you are aware that you're making a conscious choice. So if you're looking at something that's really unhealthy to eat, for example, which is, a, I assume, what you're talking about, the temptation to eat unhealthy stuff, 
And then you just keep doing that and then you feel bad and then it's this vicious cycle. When you're holding that thing in your hand or you're looking at it or you're considering ordering whatever it is, make sure that you are consciously choosing that item. Say, you know what? I know this donut is not good for my insides. I know that this is going to probably cause problems for me. But right now, I just really want the donut. And I'm willing to make that choice. I'm willing to make that bargain that I'm trading a little bit of health for the enjoyment of this donut. If you start there, I think you will start to find that it's easier to make the choice the next time or the time after that, maybe not to have the donut. Because I think what we do is we say, oh, I'm not going to look at this right now because I just want it. I just want it, so I'm not going to think about what I'm doing. I'm just going to eat it. I'm just not going to... That's where you get in trouble, is that you're abdicating your responsibility. You're not, you're not realizing, you're not letting yourself take responsibility for what you're doing. So just be aware. Um, I know you're bad, for, yes, but it's easy. It, it is, your job is to listen quietly. Oh, I love that. Uh, thank you, Mickey and, and Mike. Mike G, stay up. Thank you very much for sharing. Yes, donuts are great, but you're making a choice. Not all donuts are as bad for you, by the way. Some are not. I think you can make homemade donuts that aren't that bad for you. But the point is, substitute whatever the bad thing is. Greasy food, fast food, junk food, whatever it is. Candy bars. And believe me, unfortunately, most protein bars are candy bars with some protein powder thrown in. So beware. Read your ingredients, people. And just know that you are making a conscious choice. Then, when you eat something like an apple or some vegetables, you can say to yourself, I am consciously making this choice to eat something that will be good for my insides and that will make me feel good on the inside. Make that conscious choice. Have that dialogue with yourself. If you have to, do it out loud. And here's the other thing that I like to do. If I'm eating dessert and it's really bad for me and I know it, if I'm at home, it's just so good I can't stand it, I'll have a bite and then while I'm chewing, I throw the rest in the trash. You have to do it while you're chewing. If you let yourself swallow and you're finished chewing, it doesn't work, you'll take another bite. You always do, I always do. So you eat it, ice cream, same thing, whatever it is, just take a bite and then throw the rest in the trash while you're still chewing if you want to resist it. So that is my McCallie Motivational Monday for today. Uh, we ended up talking about food at the end, but really this is about worrying and realizing that we don't have control over most aspects of our lives. And to recognize that, to just let it go. Let go of the things you don't have control over. Embrace the things you do, which is your behavior, your actions. You have so much power that you don't even realize. We all have so much power we don't realize that we have because we're so focused on the things we don't have control over. So say a prayer to yourself. Let it go. And focus on the stuff that you can have some control over. Making your life better and more positive. The people around you. And it will all work out, I promise. That's how it works. So, um, thank you so much for joining me on the Danny Cam. You are the D Squad. This was McKelly Motivational Monday. I hope you liked it. Thank you so much for your shares and your follows. I really appreciate all of that, you guys. And I will see you very soon again on the Danny Cam. Bye.